let's start with the Docker installation. Go to the Docker site and choose one of the options, based on your macOS laptop chip. Once the Docker installer is downloaded, run it and follow the prompts to install Docker on your system. Let's check the results. While Docker is loading, let's install Git. There are several ways to install Git on Mac. In this tutorial, we are doing it by running Git version in the terminal. In order to execute the command, you will need to have command line developer tools installed. If you don't already have them installed, please make sure to install them before proceeding. It is recommended to use Google Chrome as the browser to run CVAT. Therefore, we need to download and install it. and done. Now let's install CVAT. Open the terminal and run the command, git clone, followed by the repository link to download the CVAT code to your system. Now, run the command, docker compose upd, to start the CVAT docker container. Now let's check if everything is okay. To ensure that the local version of CVAT works correctly, it's crucial to wait until the server is up and running. When you run the CVAT server for the first time, you have to create a superuser account. Enter your desired login and password to create the account. That's it. 
CVAT is now available on your local machine at localhost, 8080. Annotate faster and with higher quality using CVAT. CVAT is an open source platform for preparing datasets at scale. You can find more information at CVAT.ai.